I withdrew my certificate of candidacy for the presidency, and that, together with Corey here, we filed, also last night, our certificates of candidacy, both under the banner of UNIDO, she for the presidency of the Republic, and I for the vice presidency of the Republic. His darkest moment was when he he had to accept the vice presidency uh, in favor of Cory Aquino's being president or standard bearer for the opposition. Uh, this was very painful for him because he had already his machinery up, the Unido, and every, everyone, all his leaders had already committed to him. We were, we didn't know what was going on. It was very quiet, although we're, there are a lot of people downstairs. No? And we had just come from all the rallies. We worked so hard in the campaign. Doi for president. Doi is my boy, you know. Everything was green. Wala pang yellow. His leaders were crying. They were telling me to, to, to not to, to stop him from doing it. But he said, my mind is made up. I'm going to do it for the country. He showed us that, that there was still a way of helping the country. It didn't matter if he was president or vice president. He was still serving the country, and that was what was important. Sir, do you regret having um, given up the chance the, or the opportunity to serve as a president to, to give way to President Aquino? Do you ever regret that decision? Uh, I do not regret having made that sacrifice for our country and people, because I do not think any sacrifice can be too great for our country and people. Even our lives, we must be ready to lay down our lives for our country and people. Eva Kahlo was voted party secretary general. As for Laurel, he got another acclaim as party president. In a strong vote, Laurel was also unanimously and predictably endorsed by 920 delegates for party standard better. Tutuo ba na may deal kayo ni Cory noon na hati kayo sa presidency? Well, I'll tell you the truth. I, I, that's true. Cory, when she asked me to withdraw and give way to her as president, mm -hmm. asked me, offered other, that she would uh, step down after two years, that she would make me prime minister and run the government, she would just be a ceremonial. And then mag, mag hati kami sa cabinet members. Dalawang taon na natapos ng pagkapresidente ni Cory, pinaalala ng mga laurel yung kasunduan nila. Hindi natuloy yung kasunduan na yun as advised by Tanyada and uh, Diokno. Ngayon, ang sabi daw ni Speaker, nung narinig na ayaw ni Cory pagbigyan na si Doy, sabi daw ni Speaker, kung sa bagay Doy, marami ng lamok sa moskitero, oras nang umalis tayo. But now in this age of learning, of might, of science, of speed, of nationalism, nationalism is a dying ember which cannot even warm the hearts of leaders nor light the ways of people. The lesson that I remember most from my father, because I was his private secretary for six years, is complete and total selflessness in serving the country. Whatever is necessary uh, to serve or uphold the interests of the country, we must never hesitate to make that sacrifice. In other words, uh, you must never think of yourself. You must think of the people first. You must think of serving them first, serving them always and serving them well at all times. My dad brought golf into my life, and until now, I love the sport because of him. He taught me many things about golf. It's not just a game, it's the game of life. He teach me how to putt. He 
teach me. He'd put five balls in the sand trap and say, you know, it's not good enough. If you just get out, you gotta get out good. But when you're in the rough, he never taught me how to get out. He said, when you're in the rough, you gotta get out by yourself and you gotta do it well. That's life. Never give up. Well, unknown to most, my father, he is a gentleman farmer. He is a very competitive sportsman, a very consummate writer, and I think, surprise of all surprises, he is a very, very good cook. It's amazing how he could do a balancing act yes. altogether. Be a politician, public servant, teach us about how to be um, you know, committed to serve our country, even as private citizens, he'd always inculcate that. He had the time to even teach us and and be with us, even when it, even if it had to be, you know, to sit down and do our homework with us. That took a lot of time from a public servant yes. like, like that. So I admire him for that. He was a he's really fantastic dad. Well, my father is like any other good father in the family. The fact that he is. He was a government official, a former vice president of the Philippines. Uh, doesn't make him any different. It's separate. He has managed to compartmentalize his politics as against uh, being the head of the family. It taught us how to be strong, yes. how to be really strong and take all the blows with grace, grace. you know. And um, I guess he was also very sincere as a person. Um, he also taught us how to mean what you say and, and say, say what, what you mean, mean all the that. time. My life has been shaped by this man whom I love very much. And I, I look forward to many more years of friendship, many more years of loving and caring with a man that I met 53 years ago, or even longer, and uh, I want to see him where he would want to be, where we would all want him to be. Happy in his country and doing good to his fellow men. I cannot imagine living my life without joy. <laughs> Private Doyle Laurel is, uh, is a, a simple person. I love to read. I love books. I still love books. And uh, I like to, to meditate. I read the Bible every day. And when I, after reading the Bible, I, I meditate on, on the reading of that day. And that's early in the morning when I wake up at 5, sometimes at 4. That's the first thing I do. And after that, I. I do my paperwork. I continue to, to write uh, articles and uh, well keep uh, up to date with the past developments taking place in the country. The Board of Directors of the UP Alumni Association, upon the recommendation of the awards committee, hereby confers the most distinguished alumnus award to Salvador H. Laurel, Associate in Arts. The reason why UPA chose the Salvador Laurel, whom I shall call Doy, as the most outstanding UPA alumnus, is because of the following reasons. Number one, his concern for the disadvantage, since he was young all throughout his professional life. He has shown this when he became a senator and enacted 
five justice for the poor bills or laws, which would give uh, the witnesses of the poor free transportation, board lodging, free transcript of stenographic notes, and so on. Second, uh, his self-sacrifice. He always thinks of service above self. His life in UP and all throughout his career shows this uh, element of uh, sacrifice as well as his concern for the poor. I know that I speak for all of our classmates and many of his friends when I say that Doi embodies all the essential attributes of a public servant. He has been very humble, very serving, and he was always on the right path of uh, his duties. Kung si Ninoy sinabi niya that the Filipino is worth dying for, ang sagot naman ni Doi, the Filipino is worth living for. Eh, yan ay mesek na yung tao. He is completely, very much under doctor supervision in the state. But his thoughts are here. He sent for his secretary. He called for Mr. Saik Garcia in the reorganization of the party. Ang kanyang buhay ay para sa bayan. The uh, vision was thankful for nationalism. I think he got it from his father, who was a very, very uh, uh, was a nationalist. Now, so in anything that he did, it was always the Filipino first, and he never wavered in that uh, in that respect. Whatever decisions he made, it was number one the Filipino, number two the Filipino, number three the Filipino. That is what he said, what he, he, he did. So, in that respect, uh, he he was a statesman because he always felt that country must come first, the Filipino must come first. When you question about his integrity, wala siguro makaka-criticize kay Doy. Kaya ang mga followers ni Doy, hindi dahil sa they can get something out of it, kundi talagang believe sila sa kanyang honorable intentions, his integrity is unquestionable, and he is very noble in the sense na tutulungan kanya even at his expense. He was a very exacting person. He wanted things to be accurately stated. He used to tell me, keep it short, simple, and straight. To me, the most important thing that uh, Doyle Laurel did for the country is his passion to serve and not to be served. So, as a public servant, that was his passion. So I think Doyle Laurel should be remembered as a exemplary public servant like his brothers, like his father, and like his grandfather. I'd like to be remembered as a man who tried to serve his country to the, the best way he, can, he could, mm -hmm. and he didn't count the cost. When uh, I worked with Doy uh, when he was elected chairman of the National Centennial Commission, we were taken in uh, from the Philippine Centennial Foundation. And uh, I think Doy uh, really relished uh, this particular job because uh, he is a uh, promoter of uh, nationalism, service to country, and uh, in so doing, he could gather the memories uh, of many people how uh, we were able to attain our independence. And this is the big celebration. It is the birthday of our country. I'm happy that uh, Doi and I, who knew each other as children, uh, have grown up to the ripe old age of 75. But, uh, forget uh, we still are gonna go a long way do it stay on makasama pa tayo mahaba pa na nakari natin Child, be
forgotten of your perfidy. Fair hope of the fatherland. A man who a stout-hearted man who will fight for the right they adore. Start me with ten who a stout-hearted man, and I'll soon give you ten thousand more. Oh, shoulder to shoulder and bolder and bolder they grow as they go to the floor. Then there's nothing in the world can hold a mara. Men can stick together man to man You who have dreams If you act, they will come true To turn your dreams to a fact It's up to you If you have the soul and the spirit Never fear it, you'll see it through. Hearts can inspire other hearts when they're fire. For the strong obey when a strong man shows them the way. solemnly swear that a public office shall be my destiny in life. The lesson that I remember most from my father is complete and total selflessness in serving the country.